Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we have something that looks a bit familiar. So this is the SG900. This is not the S version, this is a 900. So the difference is this has no GPS. So it's, you can see by the front it doesn't say GPS on there. And it's got an optical flow sensor underneath. There are the differences. And it has no SD card and it records to your phone. Yeah, it's got a 720 camera this. It's about half the cost, I think it's worth about 40 quid or maybe a bit less. So it runs on a 3.7, get that in focus, 3.7 2200 milliamp hour battery. So flight time, it says on the box 20 minutes, it's good for about 13, 14 in real life. Um, so yeah, decent flight time. And with the optical flow sensor, you'll see from the video at the end, it hovers nicely. It works does the optical flow, it is making it hover. The camera quality is much as you expect because it records back to your phone, so you're not going to get any better than than what your phone's seeing, but it's not horrendous. And the control is exactly the same as the SG900S, so it's rechargeable, which is nice. As you can see, you've got battery meter here to tell you what charge you've got in there and that's your connection signal you've got your speed your tick off the land button and then your video buttons on the back you've no trim on here and then the drone itself i'll just turn it on i don't think that's going to connect i think it's going to oh yeah we're connected so the drone itself so the drone has no um you can to, to take off, you don't have to arm it, you can just... All you do to arm it is just push it all up. So there's no safety feature on here, you've got no uh, no pusher sticks into arm, which I find a bit strange. LEDs on the front, greens on the front, reds at the back, your typical affair really by nowadays. The props are exactly the same as the SG900 and the, a load of other things have these props on. And it is obviously brushless gear driven. So, like I said, the optical flow works very well, but that's the problem, because to me, something's wrong with the optical flow, because when you fly it, it sometimes doesn't respond. It'll be stick, it'll be in the air, and it's done it twice on me, hence why it's got scuffs on it, and it just won't do anything, it'll just stay where it is. It'll try and respond, it'll come back, try and respond really slowly, or it might crab round, and I think it's because the optical flow is is getting in the way. I think that's the case. Now, I thought it was just mine, but I have watched a, a video, and I think it's RC Escapes, and his did exactly the same thing. Mine's done it twice, his did it a lot more, and his was doing it at more distance. It, you just sort of lose control, but you lose control for maybe 10, 15 seconds, just does its own thing. And for that reason, there's no way I can recommend this to anybody. I, I am disappointed with it. I like the SG900S, the GPS version, I think that flies well, I think the camera could do with being better, but it flies okay. This, I couldn't recommend. I had high hope for it when I first took off with it, and you see the way it holds, but no. It's unforgivable really with that on there. And if it was just mine, I'd probably say, well, maybe I've got a bad one, but I've watched RC Escapes, and his is exactly the same. It comes with an instruction manual, which is quite a detailed instruction manual, very similar to the one for the... GPS, I love the controller, the controller feels really nice in your hand I'm not going to play, I'll just turn it off actually So the controller, yeah, feels great in your hand, I love the feel of this controller And it's just a shame That the issue is with the, the drone itself You'll see from the foot, um, you'll see I've got some footage coming up of me flying it And that was a struggle to fly it because they're constantly fighting it To try and make it come back to me or go away from me and it looks like it was a, it looks like probably you're gonna see from the video that it was perfectly windy. It wasn't, it's about four or five miles an hour. There's a little bit of wind, but it's certainly not bad today. Nowhere near like it has been. I went out in the calm bit this morning, so that's not the issue. The issue is something to do, and I'm sure it's to do with the optical flow. So like I say, you'll see from the video, it does fly. I've got the footage from the um, recorded from 720 to my iPhone that I'll put up on the screen as well at the end and you make your own mind up but because of the fault it's got on it I can't say it's going to work now whether you could disconnect the, G the this I don't know because I think if you did if it was just an altitude hole cut I think it would be absolutely fine but disappointing so 
I'd have to say save your money and maybe spend the extra and buy that one but for this money you can get the visual shark for less which will have the same kind of the 809s which is going to have the same kind of flight time but none of the problems or you can get the FQ35 I think or 36 that I reviewed the other week which is another type of this type of drone again no issues much better and a lot, lot less money so there is a lot about Thanks ever so much for watching and have a fantastic day.